How's it going everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4 again at Starlight Drive-In. I'm going to be doing a pretty similar video to the last video I did, uh, which is just housing. So these houses are going to be a little bit more interesting, but it's still the same like general thing. So my idea for this was more houses just kind of all angled up and stuff like that. And so this is a little bit longer of a video, but it's because the houses actually took quite a while, while to build. And then decoration was a nightmare. Uh, I keep hitting my build limit, so I keep having to go and lower that down. And it just takes a while. So you'll understand why whenever I get to the end of the build. There's one specific part of this build that when we get to it, I'll point it out, but you'll probably notice anyway, but it took forever. Um, it was just, it's kind of like a, a really, really weird thing that I did. And I've never done anything like that, but ended up, ended up looking really, really interesting, really good. And, uh, so this is the first house that I'm going to be building in this set of houses. And again, this is kind of like a longer house because I end up putting another foundation. Uh, I thought about curving it a little bit more, but I just went ahead and placed it down. I didn't want to bother adding another angle. It's straight enough for me. And then I place down some walls. So with that wall on the end that I placed, the one that's kind of like that one right there, that one, for some reason, when you go to place it down, there's like a glitch that won't let you actually put it uh, on, like if you try to place something next to it, no matter what, it'll go straight. And so, again with these, I wanted to fill in those kind of outer caps. And right here, I wanted to build a window and then kind of separate off this back area. And so right here I'm just getting the height by placing the roofs in because I'm going to use Place Anywhere to actually put in another half wall on the top half of that to kind of make a window that looks out into the little alleyway between all of the houses. And I wanted it to be closed, not so open, so I used the greenhouse and I actually used Place Anywhere to put that in there but on the inside you can kind of see that it's sticking out and it's huge compared to the other ones so uh, to fix that I just used place anywhere and I put in some half walls on the top and bottom to fill in this gap and so it looks a little bit neater and I did the same on the bottom. I think that that looks a lot better than what it did. Uh, I think that's a really good window, in my opinion. I'll probably end up doing more stuff like that, because I think that it looks really good having glass windows and stuff, rather than just using the uh, little half pieces, or the end caps or whatever. And right here... I actually placed in some more of the shack bridges. And then over here, I'm extending it to add some more houses. On this end, it's a lot of smaller houses just kind of piled up on top of each other. And you'll see what I mean. I kind of change what it, uh, what that first set of houses, the second floor, I changed that balcony into kind of like a, a balcony for all the houses. So all of them are going to be connected using the same staircase. And I was going to put this uh, along that shack foundation, or along that floor, but I ended up putting it a little bit closer to the other house and then I just place some 
stairs down, but to do that, I wanted to place the door first. And this would not work. It was snapping in the exact same place as the previous wall, so I had to get the angle right. And since these houses that I'm doing are so small, uh, I wanted them to look a little bit bigger. And so what I end up doing with all of these is kind of separating the inside so that you come in and it's a room and then you have to go around a wall and then it's another room. It makes it feel a little bit more, uh, feel a little bit bigger, I guess. Uh, and I end up liking how it turns out. And just like with the other house, to kind of fill in this gap, I use the plywood pieces. And yeah, it ended up looking pretty good, I think. But I'm just trying to get the angles right. And then uh, some of these plywood boards actually just clip right underneath other ones so that's what I use to kind of fill in the gap a little bit more like I'll I'll use those bigger pieces and then freaking mutt fruit man I, I cannot stand that plant because for some reason if you move it after they start farming it will keep the mesh of the mute fruit I said mutt fruit a second ago but the mute fruit in that spot which is really frustrating so right now I'm just kind of filling in all the gaps on the house, uh, trying to get it all boarded up. And just like with my other builds, I used CVA to actually get like quarter roof pieces that I used to fill in the gaps on the roof. So right here. Oh, no. I'm actually trying to fill in the gap on the floor first. So so that people have a little bit of a spot to walk in or walk on up to that. I thought that this would be a little bit more interesting than just having the shack bridges touching each other and stuff or putting staircases or whatever. I decided to use um, the like angled floor pieces from CVA. Uh, I end up using two of them to kind of fill the gap between those two walkways and make it a little bit more interesting looking. And right here, I'm just trying to get it to where it doesn't glitch through a lot of stuff. And then also, I stepped up it to make sure that I could actually walk up it. And then, like I said, I used these uh, like quarter roof pieces. This is with CVA, uh, Custom Vanilla Assets. I use that to fill in the gaps on the roofs. They also have angled pieces for these that I end up utilizing later in the build. So this house is pretty close to being done. Just need another roof, I think. Another roof piece. Yeah, so this house is actually done. And you'll notice that that other house I hadn't placed a roof on yet. That's because I intended to build up on that side because there was already a staircase down there. I just wasn't 100% sure on how I was going to do it yet. And the way that I end up doing it, I'm actually really pleased with how I do it. So I'm sitting here thinking right now, how do I build up here? Usually I'd cut stuff like this out but apparently I forgot it in, but that's all right. But I use place anywhere on this floor and I place it right alongside the balcony that's already up here that kind of leads over to that house. And I do with another piece too, just to kind of get the angle right alongside that building. So right here, I'm trying to get those angles right and then kind of make it even with this floor piece so it kind of looks like it goes straight off of it 
over to that and then yeah just so that I can have a floor all the way across and to kind of mix up the textures I use the warehouse tab to kind of fill it in and I thought about uh, using that floor to kind of uh, build onto but I end up going against that and then right here I'm still trying to figure out what to do up on the top of this house and I end up deciding that I want to build an interesting structure on that right side so where I put that staircase up I ended up building something really cool over there and then right here I decided to just go with a little filler kind of shack similar to that one down there that I've already built and I was trying to see if this would uh, if this staircase would snap to that but I see that it kinda just goes up on it anyway so and right here I uh, start building up this house yeah it's a pretty simple shack uh, both of these shacks and then also the shack over on the other side are both pretty simple the one just downstairs on the right side is the more complicated one. And so here I'm just filling in all these gaps, making it a little bit more safe, and then also just leading up to this side so that I can build another little balcony out in front of the other house that I'm going to build. So first thing I wanted to do was build the floor for this house because... I wanted to figure out where that balcony was going to be. And so, I, looking at this, I thought that for some reason that would work, even though the balcony is like a couple feet out from it. And so, now it's me just trying to get the angle right on this staircase, which it won't work now, because every single time I try to place it, it glitches out. And I should have just deleted it and got a new staircase. And I try to use place anywhere. And I get it a little bit more straight. Or closer to how I want it. I realize that it's not that high. But I end up getting it at the right angle. It takes a little bit. And so, as you can see... Uh, I wanted to put a shack bridge. I thought that that would have been a bit more of an interesting texture, but at the same time, uh, the settlers aren't going to walk on that. So I end up using a uh, what's it? scaffolding floor, and I just moved it a little bit closer to the stairs so that it didn't look quite so much like it was floating because they won't actually clip. And then it lets me put that close enough to... Or it lets me snap two of those door frames on, so I end up going with that one. And then, like I said, this house is a little bit smaller. I didn't want to do a huge house on this end. Because, like I said, these two up here are kind of just filler shacks. And, yeah, pretty simple structure overall. I go with that wall with the, like, graded like window or whatever I guess not the window but there's a little gap in it and then right here to kind of fill in that gap between the house and the balcony I used a, a shack wall outer cap because it kind of sticks out a little bit more it also connects the bottom of that or the top of that uh, bottom wall to the bottom of that wall that I just placed and then now this is me trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this. So this kind of weird gap in the house. Uh, I wanted a staircase up to a room or, or like a bedroom or something like that or an office of some kind. And I couldn't figure out how I was going to do that. So right here I'm just using a place anywhere and CVA to actually get the angles 
right with the quarter pieces from CVA and it is kind of a pain just because I have to try to get it at the right height and then also try to get it at the right angle with the walls on the right side because those are kind of at a weird angle due to me trying to fill in the gap between the two houses and this is a lot of work but I don't mind doing all the extra work when it looks as good as it ends up looking and then like I said with custom vanilla assets they kind of add these angled roofs and first thing I'll, I'll admit right off the bat is I do not use the right angle and uh, I tried to go from the bottom of the wall over there up to the top of the staircase using these I think 10 degree angles or 30 degree angles or something like that when I should have been using a bigger angle to do it at this height and uh, yeah that was my main mistake here but I thought that that would work but then I try to walk down there in a little bit right here I'm trying to get the angle right but when I attempt to walk down the stairs it's actually too low for me to even fit underneath it and I think one of my biggest mistakes right here was attempting to put this weird angle yeah so right there I made the mistake of placing that a little too low and so I moved them all up a little bit and this is how I deal with that so to kind of fill in these gaps I use place anywhere and these angled half walls to fill in the gaps and it ends up looking really good I think this is actually probably one of the most interesting little things that I've done for a shack as a staircase uh, this is so if you guys have been watching my builds for a while now I did Piper uh, a house for Piper a while back and I didn't show this but I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for Piper because I'm usually not very good at building things like that for specific settler or for specific people like I was really not used to building houses for the followers so whenever I uh, did it in previous saves I did not build a house for each of the followers like I did in this save I just built kind of a building and I was like this is where all of my followers are gonna be which it worked that was fine but when I built each of the houses for each of the followers there was only certain followers that I knew what I wanted it to be like right off the bat like Strong's was easy. I That was the first house I did because it was the first idea I had. Uh, I knew I wanted to do something with him anyway. And then that kind of became, oh, this is going to be my settler. Or my companion uh, settlement at Abernathy Farm. And so I had an idea that included something like this staircase at... Abernathy farm for Piper and her house was kind of going to be kind of tiered and it would lead down to a room that was behind the capsules kind of like the build that I already did but it would also include you know uh, an extra room so it would kind of be like the build that I did plus a staircase that led to a bigger house on the side of it um but I ended up not doing that, which I kind of wish that I did because I thought that it would look cool. Maybe I'll do something like that later, not for Piper, but just as a house and a settlement. But we'll see. And so I think that this is a little bit more interesting than what it uh, originally was going to be. And then now it's just some finishing details right before the tour. And... I was really pleased with how I did in this uh, this set of houses or whatever. Uh, I'm probably going to do a couple more sets of houses. I My intentions for this settlement to begin with were going to be the level 4 merchants and then 
that was it. But I think that this is going to be a huge settlement. And so here's the tour in a second. You'll see what I mean. Uh, at the end, I do kind of like a bird's eye view of everything from the top of the original builds. But look how good this is. Oh my gosh. I love this. Like with the little chain link fence. And God, I've added some details to this since. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of decorating out here, but I have since. And it just looks so good. Uh, I think it looks really scrappy in like an alleyway. Uh, the way that the the balconies kind of hang over it just reminds me of like just a shanty town or something like that and it's like people just kept trying to move in and move in there's like houses all across town but then like they just started building on top of the houses but like look at that oh man i'm so pleased with how this turned out uh i also changed the lighting in this area i think because i thought it was too bright uh I wanted it to be kind of like alleyways, like I said, so a little bit dimmer. There's a couple things, like I said, that I've changed since this uh, build, but it's not too much, and I think it, it still looks really good. And I, I thought I did a good job uh, decorating. It's not too heavy, but that's just because the frame rate is starting to become an issue already. So I'm going to uh, slow down on OCD or OC decorator a little bit. That's why you're only seeing a few items. Like there's a coffee cup and a hot plate and a coffee uh, container, whatever. I don't know. I can't think right now. Yeah. My schedule's super jacked up. So uh, I'm working nights now, and it's just been really bad trying to get my schedule figured out. Uh, and... It's just crazy. So I apologize if uh, my video's quality lacks in any way compared to how it usually is. Uh, I'm trying to fix my schedule and figure out how I'm supposed to stay awake uh, during the night <laughs> when I'm not at work. But also I can't really record during the night so right now it's my day off and I'm trying to record during the day so I'm really tired right now but it's alright I just want to get videos made for you guys but let me know what you guys think and uh, sub subscribe if you're not already um, and then stay tuned for some more builds I'm probably gonna be doing I think I'm gonna do the uh, a bar for this area out here but kind of like I did in the original build, if you watched that, the original Starlight Drive-In build. But it's going to be good, I think. But let me know what you guys think. Like, give me some ideas if you guys have any ideas or things that you'd like to see. Uh, I plan on doing some more houses on the other side after I build the bar. And then maybe some more behind this set. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm not that far. All I know is I'm going to do a bar. But... Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.